I was a UH-60L Black Hawk pilot for the army, and I've seen a lot of fucked up shit. Soldiers with their legs and arms blown off, gruesome bodies, explosions happening right underneath people, and dead civilians beheaded for not swearing allegiance to the terrorist caliphates. Today, however, I want to tell you about one specific horrifying incident that happened in early 2004 in Iraq. This event changed my entire perception of the world as I know it. This is the first time I've told anybody what really happened. Before we begin, if you're interested in this type of video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell. I was a pilot for a medevac company. My job was to fly Black Hawk helicopter into hostile combat situations and evacuate wounded soldiers. Within three months, I had flown dozens of missions, witnessed the horrors of war, and had a couple of near-miss situations with rockets. My Hawk was riddled with bullet holes, and I lost five soldiers, including my crew chief. That bullet should have been mine. It came through my windshield, skimmed my helmet, and then hit the sergeant just below his helmet right between the eyes and exploded out his cerebellum. The door was already open and his tether unhooked to make for a quick load of the injured. He fell right out of the helicopter. I'll never forget watching his lifeless body tumble 250 feet to the ground. I still send his wife flowers every year on their anniversary, but I digress. On a cloudy, rainy day, yes, Iraqi winters are very rainy, we got the call of two soldiers injured in an IED blast. Two more were already dead. We were barely able to get clearance for departure due to limited visibility. We successfully picked up the injured and were headed back to base while the flight medics worked vigorously in the cabin to save lives. That's when I saw it. I remember it like it happened yesterday. What I saw plagues my dreams. On the clouds, only 50 meters away, appeared an aircraft unlike anything I had ever seen. About twice the size of a Black Hawk, the aircraft was flat and shaped like an oval disc. Towards the front was a bubble-like protrusion I assumed was a cockpit. There were no wings, nor were there any noticeable methods of thrust or propulsion. This was not any recognizable US or NATO aircraft, and there was no way that any of these ragtag terrorist organizations would have something so advanced. I radioed in to report we were being tailed by an unknown, possibly hostile aircraft. We were informed that two Air Force jets would be dispatched, and to continue to base. We were near enough to camp that I felt okay about lowering our altitude. We descended to about 250 feet. The unidentified aircraft followed us, matching our exact speed and movements. That's when my Black Hawk lost all power. In the blink of an eye, all lights went off and the engine power cut out immediately. I put the aircraft into auto rotation, a last resort emergency procedure that disconnects the rotor from the engine. The gravity of the descending aircraft will keep the blades spinning just enough to give you somewhat a controlled descent. Just a second later, the aircraft appeared right in front of us, maybe 10 meters away. A light that was some sort of large laser beam came from the aircraft and hit me right in the head. I actually felt it hit me. Suddenly everything changed as if my mind shifted to a fucked up dimension. I saw weird colors and shapes I can't explain. Colors that I didn't believe to exist. I felt like my head had been ripped off my body and was being sucked through a fucking four-dimensional tunnel filled with shit I just can't explain. At the end of the tunnel, I landed in a sea of nothing. No color. No sound. No matter. Nothing. Then, with the feeling of my brain exploding, every memory of my life started playing in my eyes like a fucked up slideshow. It felt like my life's memories and emotions were being ripped out of my mind involuntarily. Everything I had ever seen and every emotion I have ever felt was painfully sucked out of my heart and mind. I still feel invaded, as though my mind and soul were exposed involuntarily. BAM! We hit the ground hard, but somehow upright. I heard the landing gear crutch under the landing, clearly broken. The auto rotation had worked. It took me a moment to come back to reality, but I found my radios were operational again. I called in the crash, and listened as I heard fighter jets circling the area. Neither of the two injured soldiers survived due to their injuries from the IED blast. The rest of us were okay, minus whiplash and screaming headaches. Hours later, the other pilot, crew chiefs, and I sat in the debriefing room. The other pilot experienced the exact same shit I had. Two men walked in. They were uniformed, but missing name tapes, rank patches, and unit patches. They would only tell us that they were from the DoD. We told them what happened. Everything. They wrote stuff down and let us know that the official story was that we had an emergency hard landing due to a mechanical failure. I signed a couple of papers that made it abundantly clear that we were never to speak about the truth. I stuck with that story my whole life, until now. I've been diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer, and I'm certain it has to do with that event. I've given up on chemo and radiation. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die with some dignity. 
I only have a few months left, and before I die, I have to get this off my chest. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but what are they going to do? 